We were told Overwatch 1 was abandoned because everyone was all hands on deck on Overwatch 2 and this is what we get to show for it? These waste of space devs had me playing the same game for three years. And you know what else I'm sick of? These content creators for falsely advertising this game. Amita, what happened to you? You used to be this toxic big bad wolf, and now what are you? Alright, just another one of Blizzard's suck up little bitches. So I'm so sorry to anybody. I, I believe the lies that they told me, and I apologize. Warn, calling my content shit, saying I spread toxicity. Yeah, have you seen your past? 100, 200 titles. Every single one of them are clickbait. You make it obvious that you're on your knees for Blizzard. I was one of those absolute Blizzard bootlickers. So now, you know who looks like a big fucking idiot? Me. So back when I made these videos, I was painted as the villain. What this video is going to be, it's going to be a more content creator bashful video because content creators need to hold some accountability for this shit. And all you guys are going to be in my comment section and all these, if people react to it, they're going to be like, oh, we were lied to, you know, content creators were lied to, bull fucking shit. This game we have right now, this shitty ass game we have on our hands, is what they got to see early in those NDAs getting flown out to LA and all this bullshit and all this private secret shit. They got to see the shitty ass game we have now and they decided to hype it up as as if Jesus is gonna come from the sky and come in our mouths. I don't wanna hear none of that shit that, oh, we were lied to, the content creators were lied to, bullshit. They need to be held accountable for the bullshit they were spewing. If you want a more dev bashful video, then go watch my Why Overwatch 2 is an absolute joke video. Oh, so let's start with Warren, a cocksucker who wants to start beef with me for no reason. So, a year ago, when I made my Total Let's Down 2 video, I ended up calling out Warren for being a shill, a Blizzard cum sock. I really like her voice lines, wow. Wow, they did such a good job. Can we just all agree? He decided to bait viewers into watching his shitty ass streams because after the beta drops ended, guess who was still putting drops in their title, misleading people into clicking on his shit ass stream. And after I made that video, little bitch boy wants to respond with this. The second his views start going down, he just starts beefing with somebody. And this time he chose me. Now he has, he's trying to create beef with me, which I'll fucking flame this guy until no end about how I clickbait. Mm. I like to start beef when my views are low and I just so happen to choose you? Is this man really implying that I started it? Did he not forget that he's the one that attacked my channel for no reason when I was at 6k subs? Oh, and don't try to deny it either, buddy. Don't try to act confused. I have proof. As you can see from this tweet here, I said, Warren, I just saw what you said about my channel a couple days ago because bro was shitting on my channel saying, oh, I bait toxicity for views and how I shouldn't have a platform. And I wanted to say I respect your opinion and I have no hard feelings. Also, sorry if you disagree with my sense on racism. Anyways, have a good day because it all started with me saying that that you can be racist towards white people. And Warren would call me out on that because he's a fucking PR scumbag. You shouldn't make fun of someone's skin color, period. That's all I was getting at. I don't give a fuck if it's racism or not. Anyways, that's just to show that this cocksucker started and had the audacity to act like a victim like i just so happened to choose him trust me warren if i wanted a beef with someone for views it definitely wouldn't be you seeing as when i was at 6k subs i was getting more views than you are right now when you were at 55k subs to go further in detail on how much this cocksucker is just like a pr scumbag let's talk about the amos's controversy when samito was making videos shitting on amos's saying how amos's shouldn't be enabled in quick play guess what warren did absolutely fucking nothing didn't stand up for the console community that he came from that made him who he is today you know who did sword dot so big fucking shout out to sword his video brought attention to the amos's controversy and then amos's was then enabled in quick play so after being quiet about the whole situation once amos's got enabled little bitch boy wants to go on twitter and say overwatch 2 crossplay console players will officially have amos's in all modes that aren't competitive this change absolutely improves the first time player experience and encourages grouping with friends regardless of platform i played console for five years i know how frustrating it is there's no quality of life changes and no console specific updates. The developers neglected their console community forever and this is a step in the right direction. Bro is acting so f***ing high and mighty when he kept his f***ing mouth shut because he's a little pussy and was probably scared to call Sumido out on his bullshit. And then wants to go on Twitter and be like, wow, this is such an amazing change. Like, if you don't see how this motherfucker is the most fake person. Anyways, Warren, I'm done with you. I'm glad you look like a bozo right now. And I'm glad I called you out a year ago for being a shield because I ended up being right. And I could freely make fun of you because your bitch ass started it. So I can make fun of you as much as I want and give it back to you tenfold.
<laughs> Next, let's talk about my boy Samuel. Now, don't get it twisted. I fucking love Sumido. I've been watching it for three years. Sumido is probably the realest creator out here, and we should be giving props to him for apologizing for his mistakes. But I'm not gonna let you off the hook, buddy, because you wanna be a fucking hypocrite. Make a video saying, oh my god, all these creators, everyone villainized me for my opinion. I'm gonna stand by the fact that I was right about this team for years. I was vilified in this community for my takes, and where are we now? Oh, really, Sumido? Do you remember who villainized me when I was calling out all these creators, including you, that you are now apologizing for? I, I believed the lies that they told me, and I apologize. Oh, right. It was you. You villainized me saying I'm stupid, getting on stream, saying how I was wrong, and I'm just some random. See, my problem with you, Sumido, is I know you don't take Blizzard's bullshit. It's the fact that you can sit here and watch all your colleagues and your peers spew fucking bullshit out of their ass and not say a goddamn thing. It really shows how much of a pussy you are to sit here and sit in podcasts with the biggest cocksucker of them all, like your Overwatch. You're milking it right now, making like, what, already three videos? I mean, smart business move, buddy. But it's just so funny seeing all these comments saying, oh, you're the realest creator, when you have yet to call out a single content creator who's out here spewing maximum bullshit. Next, let's talk about this Discord mod looking motherfucker named Adige. So when someone showed Sumido my video of me calling him out and he made that tweet saying, oh, I guess you can't give credit where credit is due. No, you can't give credit to this fucking bullshit ass company because all they have done to us up until this point is lie. Anyways, under that tweet, Adige wants to insert himself for no fucking reason. Speak on my name when he knows nothing about me. He said, dude, this video was so cringe. It's some weirdo trying to milk the part of the Overwatch community that glorifies toxicity. Now that we're at where we're at, you now know that I was speaking. The absolute truth you think i get on the mic and force myself to be this mad no i speak how i truly feel being constantly fucked over by this bullshit ass company bro says i do this for views let, let me say you straight buddy you warren or any cocksucker creator that might react to this and think i'm doing this for drama and clout this video isn't even fucking monetized my last video wasn't monetized a couple videos back my video with 124 000 views isn't monetized oh and should i add how i can't even add memberships to my channel for live streaming on youtube because half of my videos have copyright claim because I don't care about money I care about the viewing experience I like and read every comment because it's the least I can do to show gratitude to the people who made my dream come true not the rest of these cocksucker creators who lie straight to their viewers faces for the benefit of being on blizzards payroll did you guys actually have fucking zero clue what's gonna hit when overwatch 2 comes there's like so much content dude there's like so much content like if you guys remember the golden age of overwatch like 2016 2017 new content literally all the time new everything oh shit it's coming back, dude. Everything is coming back. Lying to their viewers, the people who allow them to do what they do, baiting them with fake drops, spewing bullshit about the NDAs you were invited to. I do it for the people who constantly show love to my videos. People who consistently comment under my videos like Alamaya, Janine, Kara, Jay, Society is often disappointing. People in my Discord like Kosins and his goons. Shout out my boy Terzo. People like Bella who's been in my Discord since a hundred members. People who constantly like my tweets like Josh, Metro Tracker, Charles, Joy, Just Jambo, Devil's triangle and sorry i can't thank all of you but just know from the bottom of my heart i do this shit for you these are the people i do it for not for the money and views so adige think twice before speaking on someone you know nothing about Next, we got the final boss of Blizzard cocksuckers. This man has bent over so many times open ass for this bullshit ass company, defending them on multiple occasions. Hmm, where should I start with this cocksucker? Could it be when he defended this game's monetization system? It's really hard to see how good of a deal Overwatch 2 actually is. Overwatch heroes are the most important thing. Well, shouldn't you buy into that system somewhat? When people say this, do they want to pay for anything? Park Q seems to think that like 30-ish dollars is pretty darn good, and I tend to agree with him. Could it be when he defended locking heroes in the battle pass? Like, yeah, they know that heroes are the most engaging content. Seemed to be a very strong fit to put those heroes into our new engagement systems. Wealth of content is the big difference to feel better about this change. They've got a lot of cool stuff coming. <laughs> I'm really excited for the continuous stream of content, guys. It's good. Or could it be when not even 24 hours after Siegel posts his rant video about Overwatch 2, you immediately did not waste any time to White Knight. It's really hard for me to be too mad at the three heroes, few maps, and one new mode because the balancing and core design is so good. Jesus Christ, bro. Like at this point, just rename your whole channel to Blizzard Fleshlight. You waste of oxygen human beings dedicate your life to do one thing and you are so 
fucking horrible at it. Can you guys do anything right besides constantly let down your player base? You disgrace of developers made us wait three years of no content in Overwatch 1 for just more archive events? Just to milk money out of your loyal player base who stuck with you through thick and thin? Just to add a bullshit monetization system and try to sell us recycled Overwatch 1 skins? Just to lock heroes in your shitty battle pass? This pathetic ass roadmap where you're giving us Overwatch 1 features that you took away for no fucking reason, repackaging it and giving it back to us as if it's something new and something we should be excited about? Oh wow, being on fire, summer games, workshop mode. Devs need to get fired, Blizzard needs to get sued, these content creators need to receive massive backlash, and I hope you guys are woke and open your fucking eyes to the fact that all of these creators right now are milking this situation to the absolute maximum, making so many videos, because the majority is upset, but please don't fall for that charade, because in a couple of months from now, guess what's gonna happen? There's gonna be another NDA, these creators are still gonna be playtesting the new heroes, because guess what? It's a cycle. So, what is there more to say than... I told you so.